Previously on Welcome to the Family. I think Burritos Art is very cute. Dedicated one day to be all about social media. So Johnny Regan is a promoter from back in the day. 20 years later, I bump into him. Everything went wrong. <laughs> I don't think anyone showed up. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So it's my birthday, and I turned 30. Yay. But Bert and Alexa gave me something that I've wanted for a really long time. Come here, look at this. Look at that pretty girl. I Which is the Make It Happen necklace. I was not expecting it and it was awesome. Uh -huh. Happy so birthday to you. It's official, you're in the cult. And it's not mine. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. not mine. I still got mine. Our Make It Happen necklaces, they're handmade. There's only currently five that have been made. Apparently this is number five. Brit and Alex are very careful who they give them out to, and the fact that they chose me to give the last one to that they currently have is pretty awesome. So it's kind of like a rite of passage. <laughs> one of the things that we've been talking about in the studio on and off is different cars, because we're all interested in getting new cars. And so we were looking and we were like, you know what, let's just go test drive a bunch of cars and let's do it on my birthday. Tesla is a really high-end all-electric vehicle and it's really pretty. The Tesla is definitely one of my dream cars because it's this awesomely high-tech car that doesn't even use gas, and you know me, I love tech, and I'd love to have a car that I don't have to pay for gas. And are you gonna be sharing the test drive with anybody else? Yes. Okay. So everything is automatic. The sensor and key fob indicates that we're here. That is cool. And everything gets set up as a little car. Uh -huh. Yes. Just opening That's up the cute. doors, the car is automatically on. There's no ignition or anything like that. Parcel shell for privacy. And then a storage all the way down here. So with all the seats down, there's about 58.1 cubic feet of wow. space. A faster way to charge is going to be the 240 volt. Recovers at about 29 miles of range per hour. This wow. That's awesome. Wow. All this additional storage space, and then wow. the only fluid that you have to change in the car is the windshield liquid fluid. Because it's electric, and there's no engine, there's no transmission, there's nothing normal like we have in our cars now. But when I got to finally drive it, it was weird. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like it's on. No, it doesn't. And with the, you know, the air and the sound off, I mean, Oh, wow. The it's very, wow. very quiet. <laughs> So you notice that when you take your foot off the pedal, the car is going to slow down quite a bit. Oh yeah. What happens oh. is, rather than losing energy when you go to brake and to turn your brake pads, all that energy goes back into the battery. So the motor runs backwards and it charges your vehicle while it slows you down. So it adds some generator. Interesting. The regenerative braking in it is just very odd and strange, but I could definitely get used to it. It was very sleek. The interior was pretty nice. The big screen was awesome, especially the different stuff you could do with it. But like stuff you can do while you're driving that's useful, stuff like the camera. One of my favorites is when navigating, it shows up over the oh, dash. Oh, that is cool. No. Park is much worse. Oh, you push it. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So we get to Toyota because Valerie is interested in the Prius. Thank you. So why a Prius? What's so good about a Prius? What Prius are you looking for? It's like he would just point to the sticker, and he would refer back to the sticker, and then he would ponder things, and then look at the sticker. It was very odd. All right. All right. So I can go that way to go pick up our other uh, his other friend, who's or uh, can I go through the parking lot that way? To go to yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect time. Okay. It's loud. Yeah, it is louder than the rubber. Go, 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 <laughs> take it. Hey, what, what happened? You don't like it? I, I'm not a big fan of it. It drives sort of. I mean, it makes sense as the, uh, the the mileage. But it was getting only 22 when when I was driving it, so it's kind of yeah. weird. Smooth, but uh, didn't seem like accelerated really well. Not like uh, the Tesla. Not like the Tesla at all. The Tesla is nice. Yeah, that's also mm -hmm. a difference of 50,000. Yeah, so it makes a big difference. <laughs> this is the car you want? Yeah. Why? Because it's cute like me. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I want the convertible. Smart car, our car. Smart car, our car. Look at the size <laughs> comparison. It's 
We can fit a smart car in our car. I'm expecting um, the door to open and for 27 clowns to pile out of it. You like this, sir? Yeah, this is good. This is a go-kart. You're it's saying it's too small? For you. I think the smart car is hilarious. Everybody makes fun of me because they say the smart car is my type of car because I'm of smaller stature. However, eh, it's okay. It's perfect for you. No. It's a Raptor. You know, I'm gonna get a Raptor. Oh, they have booster seats in the Raptors for little people. Hey, whatever. I'll this pay is for your it. size. Have you stand, you know, that's. Does that have here. USB? No, see, that's for that. I don't think that's the reason. That's for that. I don't think that's. Yeah. What's that? For this. Big ass cup holder. It's not for that. <laughs> and the back seat is huge. <laughs> you can put grocery. Well, you could. You could actually fit. sit back there. Yeah. No. Yes. No. That's how we're gonna have to do it when we go to networkers. False. I'm gonna go on my Raptor. The smart car is adorable, and I really want one in red. I want a red convertible. How are you doing? LJ, nice to meet you. Come here. <laughs> you see that? You know what that's for? Oh my god, let me guess. <laughs> <laughs> you can take this off, okay? Oh, and make it more convertible. Oh wow. And that's close in the Oh my oh, god. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, my god. No. Very good. <laughs> the advantage of this, if you got this on, you can close it and open it for your driver. It's a cute little thing. It looks like it's missing a key for a wind-up toy. Can, call it? This is this is a convertible that comes with a uh, brown package. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet. So basically, what here? Yeah, That's just for maintenance. Yeah, all yeah. the fluids, cool. brake fluids, awesome. um, the filter for AC. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, the engine's back there. All your change is only once a year. Wow. Just like a Mercedes Benz, every 10,000 miles. I don't think it fits back there. <laughs> My mother in law fits over here, so. <laughs> <laughs> in pieces, but it fits. <laughs> <laughs> over here, you can change everything that you see white or you see blue on this car. You can swap the panels. It takes only 45 minutes. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we live in Miami. If you go to Hialeah, nothing's gonna happen to you. <laughs> are you breaking the car? What are you doing? Taking it apart. <laughs> Dude, I'm 6'2, 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm 2'6. I think it's hilarious that Bert wants a smart car, but at the same time, he's comfortable in one. You know, as small as it looks, it fits somebody that tall and he's comfortable in it and it kind of goes along just with like him being a six foot two man and having an itty bitty tiny girly dog, same kind of thing. He loves it, so I think he'll be a cool in one. This is a delicious parking lot, eh? Yeah, it's like, what do you want to drive on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, wait, this is, what do you want to drive every hour? Look at all this. <laughs> they have their own little pen back here. Oh, this is the white with red seats, check that out. Yeah. Come on, dude. You like it? It's sexy, man. <laughs> look at this. It changes everything. Yeah, it does look nice and red. Yeah, red is the way to go. And this? Yeah, this is nice. Oh, come on, man. This is sexy. This is beautiful. Alright. Oh, look at that. Look at how it grabs the cup. It's amazing. <laughs> ah, I love that. Where are we at? Where yes, are we at? yes, yes. I love that. Where is it? Where's the <laughs> over here. Oh, jeez, you got me. <laughs> All right, well, that's the first test. Uh, Where are your keys? Yeah, it's, it's almost the whole car. Yeah. You move oh, this to your nice. left, you can drive it as a uh, manual. Oh, With no cool. touch. Okay, it's pretty badass. After getting in it, it's pretty cool. It doesn't seem like the small little toy car that you think you'll feel like you're in. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, I see the transmission change. Yeah. I mean, it's not like your 400 Mercedes, you know. It's surprisingly functional and has a good pickup behind it. It doesn't feel as light. It's all one easy. It's only two kinds, right? Coupe and convertible? Coupe and convertible. And the Pure, which is the base model. Uh-huh. Guys like it because it functions like a normal car. And girls will like it because you can accessorize it. How's the speakers on this? Try it. In the showroom, because we are at Mercedes, I see this delicious SLK 350 Roadster. I think I fell in love. So LJ's completely infatuated the Mercedes. He 
He loves it. He's been spending the last 45 minutes there. I know I'm saying that I want the Raptor, but I think that is a very good contender. Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. And subscribe, of course. <laughs>